Thanks so much. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the podcast. Um, like, I know this looks like a library, but it's not. It's a bookstore. But please, it's going to be recorded, this whole type of thing. So if you want to laugh, please laugh. If you want to yell out something, yell out something. There's comedians, they'll shred you, but just... Yeah, we'll let it go. Um, we've got a really good show today. We've got three amazing guests. You've seen Julia, you've seen Aaron. My first guest, you may know him from a certain sports team from Newcastle. Um, let's just fucking bring him up. Put your hands together like Andrew Johns just opened up a Henny Penny. Nathan Ross! Yes! You can have the red one. Thanks, mate. Red and blue. Very nice. Hey, guys. How is everyone? Yes. Yeah. Nathan's first time in a bookstore. How's it going? Yeah, good, mate. Pretty overwhelmed, actually. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Are, there, are there words in these things? Or Yeah, man. Yeah, can, yeah, yeah nah, boy's done well. So um, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, what's happening, mate? Nah, not too much, mate. Actually brought you a, a little present if you want to put it on. Oh, cool. You want me a present? Uh, what's this? It's, it's, a, a, it's a singlet. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite <laughs> aware of a singlet. <laughs> yeah, right. Nah, nah, it's, um, it's for... Uh, it's called Living and it's a suicide prevention singlet. So all money raised goes towards suicide prevention people. So yeah, get on board with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for this one. That's awesome. Thank you very so much, Nathan Ross. Take your shirt off, show your soccer board and put the singlet on, please. What are you talking about? Well, I don't know what you do to the fucking night slutty ad changing rooms. You'd be like, just try, just try on this singlet, boys. It's all right. <laughs> all right, we're going to bring out our next guest. Uh, you just saw her before. Uh, she was amazing. Uh, sorry, you saw her before. Sorry, before. Uh, Aaron Gox. Come here, boys. Yeah. Oh, you want to open up your beer? Can we get a bottle opener? Oh, here we are. There's a bottle opener. Yeah, no, there's a bottle opener over there, mate. Oh, okay. Hey, here you go. Come on, yourself. No, I bring it out. Yeah, it's, uh, we've got a couple of little helpers out there. It's all right. There's a kid running around somewhere, isn't there? <laughs> there's a kid running around, is there? Is yeah. it yours? He can open it. Yeah, yeah. He's he giving him a job already. All right. <laughs> All right, you're late, mate, and you've got a tattoo of a watch. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What's happening, mate? How are you enjoying Newey? You just got in yesterday. I went to drink the most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got here, um, I left, because I was up at this festival, at, like, um, it's like 40 minutes out of town. Yeah. Dashville, it's called, I don't know. But, um, and then I got here today, I went to Nobby's Beach, went to go in, and the bloody stingers. They won't let you in. The yeah, right. Because yeah, there's stingers everywhere. Yeah, fuck. What'd you do? Went to the baths. Oh, yeah. Nice. Around very good. <laughs> it was good fun. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Gox, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing you to our third guest. Uh, you saw her before. She was fucking amazing. Julia Wilson. <laughs> you. Here's the other boys. Come on. I'm back. Yes. Did you miss me? Yes. Thanks for turning up late, buddy. Yes. Appreciate that. <laughs> You've, got, you've come well prepared. You've got your beer open, oh, which I is do. great. I do. I open his. Because I'm a lady. Oh, they're a lady. A lady. They're very well. <laughs> See, it makes sense now, doesn't it? That's <laughs> awesome. So how you been, Rossi? What's going on, mate? Uh, not, too much, not too much. Just excited about my first time on a, on a panel. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's yeah, not right. a real panel, mate. Yeah, it's not it's a real a, panel. It's, it's a, a podcast, podcast, but you're on something. Don't yeah. crush my dreams. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's man. All, <laughs> <laughs> that's all you wanted. You just want to be on this one podcast. That's your entire yeah. career. It's a this thing. Moment. We're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. It's great. So a bit of a, like a connection between Julia and yourself. You both play representative football. <laughs> I like that. He plays professional football. I play full contact American football. Uh, now I play for my club and for New South Wales, and it sounds heaps more impressive than it is. No, but that is though. <laughs> like that's you're representing your state. Yeah, though. like that's awesome. Uh, until you realise we get flogged at fucking everything, <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, it's uh, injury rates pretty fucking high. Yeah, right. But right. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to drink all through the season. I'm yeah. a unit. Like, the, I don't know if you guys know how gridiron works, but the bigger I am, the better I am at my position. So I, I can just, I'm like, oh, really? If I turn up to training and I've lost a bit of weight, my coach is like, what the fuck's going on there? <laughs> Go get yourself a steak and have a beer. <laughs> I do a lot of bets on football. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, for sure. American football, American gridiron. Just everything. Didn't you play? Yeah. We had this conversation. Yeah. You, it crashed at my house one night. We'd not met. <laughs> I got a, uh, I got like a comedy Facebook. Hey guys, there's a comedian passing through. He's got nowhere to stay the night. He just needs to sleep a little bit. So I went, oh, I, there's my lounge room. I've got a gig. See ya. <laughs> and just I came home and he used to sleep on a blow up mattress in my lounge room. <laughs> Not weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> What type of blow-up mattress was it? wasn't like one of those inflatable like alligators or anything like that? Or did no? you bring your own or did you sleep on my sex doll? <laughs> <laughs> Leave Kevin alone! <laughs> oh, it's it's a big sex doll. <laughs> I'm not a small girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't play American football yourself at all, Aaron? Or I, a couple of seasons up in Brisbane, yeah. Yeah, right. 
How long has it been in Australia, though? Because I really don't know that much about the sport. Like, Flags have been playing in New South Wales for about 35 years. Yeah, right. Women's League's been going for four. And, uh, yeah, they're just picking the first Australian team this year. Yeah, right. So we've got American coaches coming over to, uh, <laughs> to, to teach To soak us. it out. Yeah, yeah right. How did you get affiliated with that? Like, how did you um, find out that you wanted yeah, to do Yeah, as an ex-bouncer, uh, <laughs> I like violence. And uh, there's not too many legitimate places where you can just smash fuck out of people. Yeah, right. Uh, and the difference between gridiron and other sports that I've played, you don't have to, like, in most other sports, you're only allowed to attack the ball carrier. <laughs> gridiron, you're like, you're wearing a different coloured shirt to me. on your fucking, let's go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's great. I love yeah, right. it. So, yeah, I moved home. That's what happened. I moved home from being on the road and yeah, I hadn't right. played a, like a team sport in 100 years. And yeah, uh, and I went, what can I do? Uh, what's socially acceptable where I can just get the most bang for my buck? Oh, grid on. Yeah, great. And like they picked a position for you or they just kind of <laughs> looked at each other and were like, you're that, you're yeah, this. Yeah, I turned up at the first session and the coach is like, yeah, you're going to be on the line. Don't know if it's offense or defense yet, but you're definitely one of those units at the front. I went, all right. Yeah, right. Hit that person, Marco. You're, right. you know, you're familiar with our American Gridiron, Nathan Ross? Oh, I've actually played a season of it. Yeah, right. Yeah, for the Bondi Storm in Sydney. The Bondi Storm. How'd you go? They're not too bad. Yeah, what'd you do? What position? It's free safety and punt return. Free, what, so what was your job? <laughs> to catch the ball and run. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so a rugby league player. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty simple. Like, yeah, right, to get like, the ball. Like Julie was saying, like everyone attacks everyone else, so sometimes the ball carrier gets forgotten about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting there, come on, I'm playing as well, Mum. It's all right, just watch me, it's fine. It's you, need, you need units my size on the line, then you need sort of medium-sized people to run and tackle and get tackled, then you need the skinny fuckers out the end to catch the ball and sprint off. Yeah, so, you're a skinny fucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the skinny ones can't play on the line because they'd get killed and I couldn't play as a skinny fucker. Yeah. What, was, what was your position? Uh, out of, I was just going to say, like, out of all the different codes, it is probably closest to league in that, in a lot of ways. Yeah, because you like you got the f- anyway. That's boring. <laughs> no, I can't t- no, please, you haven't said you haven't said anything for well, ten minutes. Tell well, us like, something about like it. Like league, league having the five tackles and in American football, you got four plays to get ten yards. Yeah. I wish that was funny, but it's <laughs> just a fact. It's just informative. That's yeah. what that is. <laughs> yeah, that's what? Well, I know nothing about that sport. I don't what know. What position did you play? Defensive tackle. Nice. Defensive tackle. Because it's the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the coach is just like... <laughs> opposed, yeah. opposed to getting when the that, ball and running. Yeah. When that ball moves, just, just charge at the guy. Just smash that person, yeah. yeah. That's, it's easy. Even <laughs> I can do it. It's great. He didn't know. He didn't realise I'm slightly smarter than I look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like how we all go... <laughs> <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> So why didn't you carry a career with uh with gridiron, no, Rossi? What's not, going on? Not much money in it in in Australia. Yeah, I was probably better at the other sport. So the other sport and the yeah. other sport you play is rugby league. Yeah, I'll attempt to. Yeah, I'll try my best at it. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, there we yeah. go. We got, another, <laughs> hey. got, got a couple of Knights fans out there. Yeah, go yeah. the Knights. Yeah, we'll be a lot better next. We'll be a lot better this year, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> right. is that a statement? Who would have thought? <laughs> the only thing about only good thing about rock bottom is you can go up. <laughs> <laughs> Every, <laughs> every time we're playing a team that's flogged us stupid, I'm the captain of my team, so I've got to give the captain speech. I'm like, right, they flogged us last time, so it's up to them to lose. The pressure's on them. We're going to get fucking killed. Pressure's on them. Like it's, my captain speech is literally, you know what you did wrong last time? Don't fucking do that again. Like That's my whole... I, I come from the Steve War Captaining Speech Academy. So oh. do you guys have like many traditions than that? Like oh, within the club? Line, like after the game or anything like that? We, we t- it tends to be a big drinking sport. It shouldn't be, but it... it it does. Oh, oh. No, no, that's not that's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> we only won. We only won one game, so I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> and you, but you had a you had a draw. Do you do half the song for a draw? Let's do the first verse Probably of the chorus. It's like a loss. It's like kissing your step step <laughs> yeah. Did you play the game that you won? Yeah, yeah. Oh, was it good? Yeah, oh, yeah. We partied like we'd won the comp. <laughs> It was absolutely unbelievable. Words can't describe victory. Yeah, right. <laughs> Got plenty of words to describe losses because I've <laughs> experienced a few. Was that was that the game where the extra ball came on as well? Like, yeah, fuck yeah, we cheated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone kick a ball on. <laughs> we need them. I gonna deal with two players now. Fuck. Yeah, home field advantage, kick balls. Yeah, we got nice. there. Nice. Go the Knights. I like yeah, it. Yeah, go the Knights. Yeah, it's awesome, mate. Oh, that's good. How's the, how's the preseason going, though? Is it good? No, no, it's been pretty tough. Mm-hmm. It's been pretty hard preseason, but we're getting through it and obviously learning a lot and uh, just hope, hoping to show a better performance last year because we've got pretty good fans in that. Well, 
Mm. That's, well, not they came that's not funny. We do have actually yeah, good fans. Yeah. Well, they came to a bookstore on Sunday afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I come. No, no, we're hoping to move forward. And, um, I come from Manly. Uh, and they everybody, suck. they really fucking suck. Uh, and I used to be a bouncer <laughs> in Manly. So I have thrown out every member of the era of the Manly team that <laughs> were ever allowed to drink in pubs. So when I, I, I was like, oh, I'll do the podcast. Who else is on? Oh, a footballer. Fuck, he doesn't play for Manly, does he? Like, I, can't <laughs> do it. I can't do it. Like, just, I've never been in an area, I've travelled around the world a lot, I've never been in an area where the local people hate the local team as much as Manly. Like, it's just, I've never seen it yeah. like that before. Like, there's a hardcore, there's a, like, they've got supporters, obviously, and they're fucking hardcore, but everyone else is like, shut up, fuck, everybody. <laughs> like, I'm a, I'm a Balmain Tigers girl, my dad played for South, so he's a South guy. Like, the amount of people that go for different teams. Whereas yeah. up here, I love everyone's just like, fucking Knights, like, it's super supportive. Yeah. A home team means there's going to be a fucking crowd. Like, that's just how it is. Yeah, you have a ridiculous crowd for fucking how much you suck. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to. I'm just I'm, nah, I'm they're trying, fine, doing they're my best points. here. And just like, <laughs> There's plenty of points scored, so it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah it's great. Who do you support, Goxie? In NRL. Ah, uh, Tigers. <laughs> That's how I knew the ball thing. <laughs> 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 they were the only uh, team to lose tonight, so... <laughs> oh, fuck. They're in good shape. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> I actually, right. our grand final was at Leichhardt Oval and I was more pumped about playing at Leichhardt Oval than I was that I was playing in the grand final. I was like, fuck, look at this! <laughs> ridiculous. I was like, come on, guys, get psyched! And someone was like, I support South Sydney, I don't want to play here. <laughs> Too fucking bad, come on! It's hilarious. So how did you get started playing footy anyway, Rossi? Um, Have you always played like that was your first sport you played? Or? Yeah, no, no, my old man played 15 years in the NRL. Mm. So uh, I guess I was just kind of trying to please my dad. And that, yeah. you know, Who did he play issues. for? Huh? Who did he play? He played for Seas. He played for Penrith, and he played for Tweedhead Seagulls and the Gold Coast Crushers. So moved around a bit. Mm. Yeah, but um, go Seagulls. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Just no, no. It's 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 a pretty good sport to be in. But it's um, I was thinking about something so I could say here and actually contribute to the podcast, not panel. Sorry, (laughs) to to the podcast, and um, that's why I started to touch on traditions before. There's um. There's a tradition in in rugby league, and I learned it at a young age, uh, playing my first senior game, and um. I don't know, in soccer, you guys might have something. In a long time, normally when you do your first at something, it's awkward, it's unusual, but you learn a lot. Um, so I played my first senior game for the Kujurang Wombats and uh, I went into the sheds after the game as a young boy and everyone's cheering. We won the game, scored a couple of tries and um, I was going into the showers like everyone else's men and that. So I stood in the corner, I'm undies on. Un- undies on. <laughs> I'm less eyes like, yeah, I was like, oh, go on. You say. Uh, undies on, pubeless, and like trying to hide my genitals. <laughs> Notice that everyone else has got their morts oh, out. Oh, I brought the singlets, boys. Come yeah, on, yeah. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, so it's, a tr- it's a tradition that's starting to fade a little bit and um, it's starting to, d- to disturb me. So, anyway, anyway, back to the story. Um, all, all the boys came in and, Rossi, what the fuck are you doing wearing undies? And I was like, oh, I'm not just a young kid in that. So anyway, oh, they... You did not just say, oh, I'm just a young kid in that. <laughs> anyway, so that, that, the, the, the undies the undies ended up getting ripped off ripped off me. And, and from that day, like, I'm a staunch stance of the... In the in the shower, if you if you are wearing underpants after a game, I feel as if you got, you're got hiding something from me. Yeah. That's what I was well, touching on, yeah. yeah. So. That's what I've learned from rugby league. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cool. In workplace bullying now. That's what that is. So like, and then we pinned him down and ripped his undies off. I thought he was going to like change our mind on the preconceptions yeah, of yeah, rugby yeah, league, yeah, but no, it just made uh, them stronger. Like, <laughs> pin, him, pin him down. What's wrong with that bloke with his weed? He's got something to hide. Yeah. Get your like, cock out. as yeah. all men around. <laughs> You're like, when you oh, fuck like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, your homer's hoof. Yeah, horse's hoof. What are you guys doing soccer? <laughs> Undies on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just get in my car and go home and have a shower. That's what I tend to do because we've got a shower at my house. <laughs> no bonding then. <laughs> no bonding. Chicks, chicks don't do that. Like, you've never been at a netball court. Come on, ladies. Hit the fucking shower. Take a lap and hit the shower. Come on. It just doesn't happen. What do you get up to after a gig? <laughs> <laughs> Penny, Let's Penny. Hit the, yeah. <laughs> hit the showers. <laughs> <laughs> Good set, guys. Come on, let's go back. <laughs> Goxie's doing another one. So oh, how's your how's your children? Your preseason at the moment, Goxie. You've got your Melbourne Comedy Festival. I love that he looked month. to me like through to the keeper. You fucking what? what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you're in your preseason at the moment. You've got your uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival coming up, which is like the mecca of Australian comedy. Which you're it's your first time you're doing a solo show, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm passionate about it. No. Yeah. <laughs> what? You, 
You're over it. Like you just you're over the doing the preseason for it. Yeah. Too many ju- sand dunes and <laughs> slip and slides. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too, Too many sand dunes. To give it context, do they still do the sand dune? I remember the simply the best ad, you know. Yeah, no, nah, so it's, it's not it's not like that anymore. We just get flogged. Yeah. <laughs> not on to, sand dunes, but to give Melbourne Festival um, context, you perform every night for twenty eight nights straight, right? And it's one of those you go into a bubble. You go in on your first night of the of the month run, and you come out later, and you find out that we've changed prime ministers, and someone's <laughs> been assassinated, and something. You just you live in a bubble. So you perform every night for an hour. You do the same like it's a, the, the shows normally have a theme. You do that show every night time after time after time but to try and get people to come to your shows you often drop in and do five minutes in other people's shows so you can like you drop in you do five minutes here and then you fly that crowd you go and do five minutes there and you fly that crowd like come see my show come see my show and by the end of the night you performed like seven times and you're drunk as 19 monkeys and it's just like it's like it's a really big so the fact he's going to go and do his first one it's going to be fucking intense sorry we just interrupt you just got a chapstick out. What, Dude, what are you could doing? you what? be less of a chick, please? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have a chapstick just with gonna, I'm on a, I'm on a panel show. No, 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 you just looked at Goxie really <laughs> fucking interesting this then when you were just doing that as well. <laughs> <laughs> His excitement's rubbing off on me. <laughs> yeah, right. I rub off too much. today, you know. <laughs> 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 you got oh, some, uh, some chapstick. So I went to Henny Penny today. Can we talk about yeah, that? Sure, <laughs> let's, 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 yeah, sure. Let's, 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 let's change the tune. Woody's I feel off. like oh, I'm, I'm initiated. I'm Newcastle now. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this guy might as well just fucking be up here. (laughs) (laughs) Three piece feed with a. Yeah, that'll do. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say something, but. (laughs) 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 Yeah, so what'd you get? So you had had Henny Penny? Yeah. Which is like, if no one doesn't know, I guess fucking everyone is from Newcastle anyway, but Henny Penny is basically Newcastle's version of KFC. It was pretty prominent, like, what, the late 80s, early 90s? It was like the major sponsor of the Newcastle Knights. And then what fucking happened to it? What happened? It just. There's a, he- there's a, what, Henny, a Henny Penny there's store. There's a Henny Penny at Belmont. There is? Yeah. All right. Under Belmont Goxie. Okay. I love that there's going to be people downloading this podcast, like in the <laughs> Netherlands, going, Where the f- what the fuck is Henny Penny? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is this? <laughs> is this some kind of drug of which we speak? I don't <laughs> yeah. understand. So if it is now. We've just given yeah, them apparently, a. Apparently, yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, this pod. Penny yeah, Henny Penny Nights. Yeah. <laughs> Big Pog Todd. Fine, fine. What? what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, here we go. The manager of Penny Penny. Yes, the that's people awesome. People in Newcastle know their fucking value for chicken. Yeah. That's what's going on. We know what the fuck's going We know where it's at. I just love how they're being themselves. Like, when there's all, like, Perry Perry, all this shit going on and kale, they're just like, nah, roast chook. You know. <laughs> They'll deep fry chips gravy. <laughs> They'll deep fry chair. They don't We're give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this turning into? Oh, like, how oh, much yeah. did it cost Sorry, to fill right. the car with petrol, hun? <laughs> Eight roast chooks. I'm turning into, I'm turning into chook talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a segment of uh, for the for the podcast, chook talk. Yeah. With Aaron Gox. Yeah, with Aaron Gox on the street. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> chook report. How do you rate Henny Penny up there? Like you would have tried. So k- chicken's like one of your. You're a connoisseur, I guess. If you could say yeah. of chicken, you review chicken. Oh, can you just chill out for a second, mate? <laughs> Fucking hell. Fuck me. I got, I got chicken in my veins, mate. Like, yeah. Literally. But, um, yeah, it was good. It was nice. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> what else, what else do you, what else do you like about Newcastle? Yeah. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> it was good. It was nice. Four stars. Yeah, fucking hell. Do you want to swap? Wouldn't recommend. Do you want to have a sub-goxie? Well, <laughs> <laughs> this was a comedy gig. Someone would say, "Put something in his mouth." Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> um. <laughs> I've got fine. one thing to do when I come to his body. I just want to know what he wants about chicken. I know what. <laughs> <laughs> Not just chicken. What it's wrapped in. Andrew. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I'm too nice to be a reviewer though, because even when things aren't good, I just. I'm do you like, ever you gave it a go? Do you, you send know? food back ever? You ever in a restaurant nah. and go, mate, that was fucked. Just, yeah. That's yes. fucked. I'm not yes. eating that. <laughs> for, an- for fuck's sake, oh, answer the guy. Um, Jesus. Um, we just, we chicken just bag. We just nip this in the bud now. Chicken bag, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> chicken bag. <laughs> you having fun, Rossi? Schrodinger's yeah. bag. It, it is or isn't. <laughs> it is both plastic and paper at the same time. What's yes. your uh, Melbourne Festival show about? Sorry to ask the question there, but no, I'm, no, I'm keen now. It's all right. Nothing. <laughs> awesome. That's going to go. I'm <laughs> plugging it really well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a show. It's not about anything. 
Yeah. See, it's your first Melbourne Comedy Festival show. Like, it's your first full solo Aaron Gox show. Mm. And so you're excited about it. Like, you're... I'm jumping <laughs> out of my skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's true, but it's because it's so far away. You're trying to pace yourself. Yeah. You know. Like a marathon. I was going to say, you know what, like, grand finals. Like, but anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You, no. Yeah. Watched, but, what, watched them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know how they talk about that? They're like, pace yourself. Like, don't... Get ahead of yourself. And yeah. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Have you written yeah. it yet? No. Yeah, there you go. That's how I, I don't want to get ahead pacing. of myself. I've written it yet. It's strong pacing. Like. In every other industry, if you're doing something like and you're representing yourself to the rest of Australia at the pinnacle of your career, you may have possibly written or perfected what you're going to do maybe more than opening night, which every comedian I know has a really vague title for their show. The blurb is really vague. And then an hour before the show starts, they're like, holy fuck, I've got to come up with an hour's worth of material. What have I got? Yeah, I can crowbar that in there. Yeah, fuck, that'll go in there. Yep, no worries at all. You're firing people. What's the show about? Oh, you'll love it. It's, uh, it's hilarious. It's relatable. Come along. Don't know what it's about yet. It'll be fine. <laughs> so have you got a... What have you called the show? Uh, Goxy Stitch Up. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Awesome. Classic. I see this going well. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming up. It's good. You're excited for it. And you've moved down to Melbourne recently, haven't you? To kind of... Is that for your career? Is that for, for comedy? And no, yeah. He's, he's in underbelly. Brisbane, if you're not in the Broncos, you're not at... You know. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep going. So if you I'm don't from remember. Brisbane, man. It's not much going on there. <laughs> There's probably more going on here. Of course there is. It's Newcastle. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. trying to dig my way out of a hole here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been great here today, except for the stingers. But that's not you guys' fault, is it? A stingers, <laughs> a stingers blue bottles or a stingers stingers? Blue bottles. Blue bottles. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Translation required. I appreciate that. Because I saw the red. Fl- I went to go in, like put all my stuff down, my swimmers on, and then I was like, saw the red flag. There's a red flag up. I'm like. I don't know what it is because I don't go to the beach much. But like, it's usually not good. Yeah. Red doesn't mean like. <laughs> We're not have a good f- swim, mate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's the final lap of the MotoGP. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I went up to this lifesaver and I was like, "Oh, what's going? Does that mean we can't swim?" He's like, "Yeah, mate. Too many stingers." And I said, "Oh, where can I have a dip?" And he goes, "Go around to the baths, you know." And like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> I'm now sorry, this is the truth. I wish that was more interesting. <laughs> no, that was. Uh, you went to Mary with the bars, which is great. It's good. Yeah. So what's your experience with com- like comedy, Rossi? Like, have you... Uh, it's just probably the, the first... Crack? Crack at it. Yeah. I wouldn't say really crack, yeah, p- participating in something like this. Yeah. Obviously, like, I've, I watch, like, comedy shows, like Step Brothers and stuff like that. If you call that, that's a movie more that's than a, a movie, show. That's a movie, not a fucking stand-up <laughs> show. Oh, it's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> but the clubs now do a lot of do, do they try and get you in like film some stuff for the social media and that yeah yeah, yeah. so well, that's a part of it now and what not so um, yeah but comedian wise we try and be funny but normally lack we're not very but good what at what if uh, would does Bo Ryan sort of give you some hope that you can be a bit of an idiot and <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind him to amusing eh yeah. I like that no <laughs> uh, there you go yeah <laughs> let's start a petition <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nathan Ross classic stitch up. Uh, <laughs> twenty eight dates at Melbourne Comedy Festival. Yeah, but no, no. We, we, uh, I'll just catch a footy for twenty eight minutes. <laughs> if I, I've got to be on my game to do that. <laughs> She'll be right. Because <laughs> um, I got contacted uh, by Dean and Kemp. You know him. He's doing yeah, like Dan a Dan little. Dean and Kemp. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a little thing on. And he's like trying to get me on. I did one thing, but it didn't go very well. So for those of us who have no fucking idea what you're talking about, a little thing for what with what now. Oh, he's an ex-Broncos winger, and he's doing an online podcast. He interviews a lot of... Um, it's called The Locker Room. Yeah. Right. You don't need to plug a rival podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try and take Milos yeah, down. Yeah, what are you trying to do, mate? You come on here and just fuck us up promoting other shit. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> no I'm joking. That's all right. It's all right. It's not about footy. Even though we've been talking about it a lot, but it's good. No, I'm just saying because it's, it's good to see, you know, athletes with a bit of... Personality? Branch out, yeah, 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 that's it. Because <laughs> I like I watch a lot of sport. My my dad's a sports Same. journal. I grew up watching fucking everything. I grew up playing everything. Yeah. And then I became a stand up comedian. You go on the road. I was I was on the road for like ten years, and you you spend a lot of time by yourself. You can't play team sports, so I watch a shitload of everything. I ride motorbikes, so I watch all that kind of stuff. But uh, but the amount of people now, it's such an industry that you talk to them. They're just like, I am really professional. I am a club man. I'm like, dude, you've got an opinion about fucking something. So it's lovely yeah. to hear someone who can crack a joke and just kind of, you know, there's got to be life after footy there's got to be life after you know even if it's just commentating but to actually be a spokesman i think is amazing i love what you're doing with the shirts so they're fucking great yeah that's great yeah. andrew awesome, won't yeah. wear them but uh oh. we, tro- oh, we tried why to why you put it on uh, we tried to pressure him into it 
Okay. Maybe, maybe if it... Right there, I'll hold this. Maybe if it said Ronaldo, right? He likes <laughs> soccer. Ugh. Can, um... Nathan... I, I'm only saying that cause I like soccer too, but my team's shit, so I just... Like <laughs> Nathan, while um Andrew's getting, Any Jets getting fans clothes on, there? can you explain what it's for? I'm fucking done it, Bob. <laughs> so, just so, put on so over your shirt, you big so Jesus Christ. Can you Show us a six pack. Can, can you explain, Nathan, can you explain what it's for? So living started off as uh, it's just as a way for men in, in rugby league to talk to each other about their problems because that's how it started. Ooh. With with um, rugby league at a, at a young age, there's a, kids get told from 13, 14, 15, 16 that the world's going to be theirs and they're going to earn this much money and um, this is this, this is going to happen and this is going to happen and then you, you never know what your future is going to be like. There could be injuries, a coach might not like you, you might not live up to the hype about yourself and they tend to not know where to go or they feel embarrassed about talking to their families and there's a lot of um, young youth suicide in there. And then so one of my friends, he's made a uh, committed suicide uh, over that and from there we, we started to realise that it's, well, well when, I, when I say we, I'm an ambassador for the label but... Um, they started to realise that there's a lot more than just rugby league world where that where, where suicide um, occurs. So uh, we found out that men, men, men don't really talk about their feelings much and so it's a way to start a conversation and living is obviously what we want everyone to do and we want them to have a, a good life. What and, a cracking and, idea. Yeah, and we're mm. it, it, you're starting to find out that, that there's a high suicide rate in elderly people. Yeah, as well. So once once they get past retirement and whatnot, and they might have lost a partner, they kind of feel them as themselves as a burden on their family. So it's just about offering support to people that are in a down and out place, and all, all money is raised by the clothing label goes towards in, in all efforts to prevent suicide. That's unreal. Yeah, congratulations. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Love it. And we shamed Andrew into putting the shirt on. <laughs> we colluded backstage going, we'll fucking make this you happen. Are you worried I'll shame him into it. Yes, I will. I was just thinking how Jordan's got that logo. They should have you doing your, you know, yeah. your big try. Yeah, that's a good one. We can bark at that. Air Ross. Yeah. That's, you know what? That's something I'm genuinely envious of. You guys in rugby league can score a tree. You're fucking yeah. We get penalised. It's called taunting. We get penalised for celebrating scoring. You've got to like get the get the ball over the touch handle and just go, thank you very much. I'm going to move off over there now. Yeah. And if you're like, well, take it back. I like, get fucked. Yeah, no, I do, do a little gesture. I make a Z out of my hands, and that's my son up there, the back, the little blonde kid. So it's yeah, bizarre. Nice. You. Oh, there you go. I oh, was he's doing it just now. to let him know that I'm thinking about him. See, I was worried. Like, it, was, it was he moments. that I was worried about saying, yeah, no, saying all the stuff. Do you have a in beer in your hand? Like, no? Good boy. Look at him. He's like, not now, Dad. I smashed the first one. <laughs> I can't really do that if I do a sick joke. Like, Karen, that's for you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> that's my daughter, by the way. Karen. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughs and you toss up like a K. <laughs> yeah. K or C, K, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a bogan. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, you're not, mate. <laughs> you know the bogan spelling? It's like... With a l always a different letter or something. For the know. people at home that are listening to this podcast, Aaron is sporting a Kraken mullet as <laughs> we speak. It's not a bogan. What the fuck? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> How long have you been sporting the mullet for? Too long. What's the inspiration <laughs> for it? I don't know. <laughs> Started out as a joke. <laughs> and then it just Fell happened. in love with it. Yeah. Didn't it's you have so uh, like the barley plats for a long time? Yeah. I've it's had a cracker, isn't it? Mm. I've had a, a lot of hairstyles <laughs> over the years. Oh. I'm just trying them all. Dreadlocks. I went to get dreadlocks, but they actually came out looking like corn sort of hair. Corn yeah. rows, I remember them. You were you ate corn listening. while listening to corn wearing corn rows. Isn't that your yeah. that one of your things? We've all made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't call them the next day. You like, you put yours online. That was yeah. amazing. What are you doing at the moment? Isn't there you a remake of Aqua Girl? Aren't you? I saw you ocean in like girl. a yeah. Ocean Girl. I saw what you in like a in a chick's uh, school outfit. What is yeah, Ocean I, Girl? It was, it was good to finally have that release because like. I had to go and buy the swimmers with my daughters, so they were wondering what was going on. And it's like, <laughs> now you can watch it. So is that why you moved from Brisbane to Melbourne? Yeah. <laughs> Docs Brisbane started calling, and I decided it was time to move the career to Melbourne. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so where did you Just get it from? What store did you purchase it from? Target. <laughs> <laughs> so for the, uh, any men out there looking for a bit of support, go to Target. You know? <laughs> Target. Yeah. yeah, Target. Very it, good. Actually wa it actually was like a really <laughs> nice... <laughs> Oh, we I don't shouldn't. wear them for fun. <laughs> of course, they're supportive. <laughs> yes, Ocean Girl. What was that show about? That, uh, that was about like what a girl that would just go around just like protecting, the ocean. protecting the ocean. Yeah. I needed it a day to get rid of the stingers. Yeah, that's right. 
bit of flip action. <laughs> nice. Nice. This is going a long way. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of like Captain Planet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Without a sick green mullet. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, like you know, all the rings were cool except the South America dude. He got hard. Like <laughs> he must have felt like he got ripped off. Hey, why do I get hard? Like, <laughs> I want fire. Did, are you saying heart or hard? <laughs> Both. Because <laughs> if your superpower is you get hard, that's a yeah. fucking awesome yeah. superpower. Yeah. Are you saying heart? Sure. Heart. Could sure. Yeah. Why not? Good, could be a pretty good superpower. That'll do. Wouldn't it? Like yeah. the, the, the now I get hard. All this direction. <laughs> Fuck it. Hello. All of a sudden, everyone around the street is going, "Dude, I got this." Bam. Yeah. Hard. Don't push the ring. Don't push the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and the America guy was just like, "Fire." How are we going to fix it? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flood, dickhead. That, like, yeah. <laughs> it was we need to <laughs> save that cat from that tree. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Fire will do it. <laughs> Oh, Poor Timmy's fuck. an orphan. Fire! <laughs> Get them all. He had that cool little monkey that was a pet, didn't he? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you come across... Like, how did you get to be Ocean Girl? Like, how did that happen? Just got asked to do it. <laughs> it wasn't, your own, wasn't your own brainchild? No. How do, you get into, how do you get into comedy? Is it just, yeah. like, something you pick up or do you guys do it from life experiences or... You just... Because when you... S- your mates get sick of you telling them the jokes. They go, you told me that 20 times. Go and tell someone else. Like, so, yeah, Mine came about from being a being a bouncer. It, I don't know if you guys have worked in pubs before, but at the end of the night, you all sort of sit around. The bouncers tend to sit in one bit and the bar staff sit in the other bit. And I worked on the theory that, you, you know, you, as a venue, it was only going to be a good place to go if everybody kind of, if the bar staff and the bouncers got along. So I kind of made everybody integrate. We'd all be chatting away. And I'd be like, yeah, then this guy fucking came and he blah, blah, blah. And I'd realise that everybody else in the circle had stopped their little conversations and were like, then what happened? And I was like, oh, then he punched me in the face and I smacked shit out of him. That's how that ended. Like, that's, you know. <laughs> and we, we, I worked out that these little stories then started to, people were like retelling my stories. And the guys at the pub were like, you got to do, give, you know, give stand up a crack. I was like, ah, oh, no, I reckon I'm right. <laughs> I reckon that's going to end in tears. I reckon I'm right. And then I copped it for long enough that I went, yeah, I'll, I'll have a go. But I was blind rotten drunk one night in uh, in Sydney at the basement, which is a really cool little like blues and jazz venue in like mm. in the city itself. And there was an ad for a comedy competition. And I was like seriously smashed. I'm a big girl. I can handle my booze. But I was like, <laughs> you know, that level of drunk where you're like, fucking let's do this. I love infinity beers, please, mate. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Time Plus seven. one. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, one of my mates goes, you should go in that. And I was just to shut him up. I was like, yeah, fucking fine, mate. But it already started that year. So I figured if I said yes, I'd have to go into next year's because you can't start late of the competition. That's not how it works. But so very drunk that night, we went home and he's like, he's brought it up online. He's like, there's that competition. I'm like, fine. So he put all of my details in and I still don't remember whether he pressed uh, send or I pressed send. But the next morning I woke up with a crack and hangover with a chick from the agency going, hey, got your entry overnight. You're on in two weeks. Have your five minutes Holy ready. And I went, shit. you fucking what now? Like, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. That's the so, only job you could rock up blind drunk yeah. and then you get. Yeah. And I was like, it was a, it was a packed, packed room. It was that night, the first gig, 400 people. I wasn't even slightly intimidated by the fact that there was 400 people. I was intimidated mm. by the fact I love blues music and I'm like, Aretha Franklin has played on this stage. B.B. King yeah. has played on this stage. I walked out looking at the ground going, who the fuck do I think I am performing on that bit of carpet? And then I looked up and went, oh, there's 400 people watching. I should probably say something here. <laughs> um, yeah, by the way, suck cock. And that was, it, you know, boom, I'm off. And is, is there a natural progression? Because like in other, like obviously in rugby league, you go from like amateur to semi-pro and then you go yeah. professionally. Is it kind of like yeah, that? Yeah, there's the a thing? So you do like... Lots of open mic, then you progress to five minutes and then you from five you go up to seven and then you you go to 15, you do a whole lot of free spots for fucking ever and then mm. support. Then you'd Book start stores. emceeing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Bookstores on a Sunday. <laughs> and, and then when you disgrace yourself, you move to France. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones that seem to take you, anyone. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You've actually met a friend. You, you put what in your mouth? Yep, come to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> See, in the comedy Maybe world. Maybe that's it. The, the news, they sit, like they just... Can't read the news, like I don't know. If that was in the comedy <laughs> world. If that if that incident had like, happened in Comedy Land, he'd have a comedy festival show. He'd tour that all over the world. Like the time I got busted pissing in my own mouth, that's what would, <laughs> that would be. It would be like a hilarious. I was like funny little jaunt of stories that culminated with me urinating in my own mouth. Oh Jesus! And not only that, he sues the sharks too. <laughs> <laughs> Wrongful dismissal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's been a while since I've had a real job, but I'm pretty sure if any employer that caught me doing that and putting it online, oh, you'd be sacked in a heartbeat. Yeah. 
<laughs> how do you go about juggling being a full time comedian and then still working as well? Because I've found that can be extremely difficult for a lot of people. Like Aaron, you said you were quitting. Like you, like you're just doing full time comedy now as well at the moment, which is uh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your last job that you had? Um, just in a warehouse. Yeah. Stitching people up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Hence the name of the show. <laughs> Wasn't a doctor. <laughs> he was working in a factory. Yeah. Do you tell people like when you are working? Do you tell people that you do comedy, or is people like how does that how does that go about? It's never come up, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Do you kind of get noticed now on the street that on Facebook your thing kind of went pretty viral? Yeah, a lot of people notice me. <laughs> is it something you enjoy, Start, or starting to like? That's why I'm trying to grow a mustache. <laughs> That'll Me that'll too. help. That'll <laughs> help. That'll definitely help. Need some glasses. Definitely won't be noticeable then. Definitely just like that guy in the street who's Maybe got a mullet. Why got a bucket of chicken with a massive mullet? <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a primary school tunic. What's going on there? He's just every guy. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Yes, he's off yeah. hat. Grow hips to beard, like butts, he'll be fine. Yeah, that'd be great. Something good. <laughs> All right. What are we on? Are we on for time, Elliot? Professional. What do you got? Yep, cool. We'll probably wrap it up soon. <laughs> um, I'd like to uh, thank you guys so much for coming Thanks in today. I'd like to have a huge round of applause, please, for Julia Wilson, thank Aaron you. Gox, and Nathan Ross. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, just a quite little, little, little shout-out as well. Um, it was, yeah, just like for, for living as well. Uh, Murray's Brewery for putting this on. Uh, Murray for putting this on at the Press Bookhouse. Thank you so much. Another round of applause Love for that. It. It's been amazing. Um, I'm planning on having this monthly. Um, so, guys, please, if you enjoyed yourself tonight, then please share Big Dog Pod around. And please come and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I really appreciate you guys for coming on and thanks, man. Get sharing this journey for me. Gonna get some jets along. Get some jet. Oh, I don't know. Far out. I might be able to. Far out. You got any favorite jets players? I could. Uh, we could do a little shout out for. Uh, all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was code for you. Lucky I remember their names. <laughs> the name of the club. Oh, uh, thank you so much, guys. Really do appreciate it. Re enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, Aaron's got a solo show straight after this as well at the Central Bar. So if you guys want to come over, then more than welcome. Can um, we say you, that? You've written that right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much, guys. Enjoy thanks your night. Thank you. Hey,